you don't want to be a noob, then listen carefully to this video because I'm going to tell you 10 noob mistakes in Call of Dragons you need to avoid. Some of them you sh uh, need to do already before you even start an account. Some of them are also for later on, which you, which people still doing actually. So stay close to the video and listen carefully because this is video 10 loop mistakes to avoid in Call of Dragons. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my first video on this channel. My name is Beastlab and I'm a official or like not official but content creator for Call of Dragons. Um, I'm not, in, not getting paid by the Call of Dragons makers but I'm in the content creator program and I doing content for them. Yeah, I am basically a beta uh, player. I'm from server 19 and I have been also played my main on server 69 which is currently in server 61 with one of the top five teams in the game. I am a T5 player, 65 mil or 64 mil power. So I can teach you quite good amount of like the game and what to care about and all that stuff. But you will find out more about my person when you're watching my live streams and watching my other per uh, videos because I'm gonna do a lot of guides and tips and ranking this and all that stuff. So. Um, I don't want to talk that much uh, because I want to jump into the video directly and the the first point which I have put on is basically you need to join a project. I see I see it a lot that nowadays people are like joining randomly a server and not doing like they're not joining a fucking project. Literally, like we're joining a random server and that's it. When I'm like, guys, there are thousands of projects basically or hundreds of projects on the official Call of Dragons Discord, which you can look on, which are giving you better start overall. You know, it's, it's, it's going to help you, especially if you to play low spender. Guys, please join a project. The second point is basically have also something to do before you're going to even start an account and that is now how much you plan to spend and also what tube type you want to main this is really important because you can basically kill your account by changing later on the tube type for example because you found out oh you like mages more than archers or you like calf more than mages or whatever you know and also plan a proper spending guide or like plan for yourself based on how much you really want to spend, how much can you afford to spend, and don't be like others that they're spending way over their budget and then they're like, oh, I cannot spend anymore, which I wanted to do, uh, which I wanted to plan, and now my account is going to be bad because of that. That is really important, guys. Really, please do that. The third point is choose the correct starting faction. Currently, we have three starting factions, which is the Wilderberg, which giving you Bakar as a starting hero. Then we have the League of Order, which giving you Wardia as a starting hero. And then you have Spring Warren, which giving you Gronwyn as a starting hero. These three starting he uh, factions we have in here right now. And whoever you're gonna pick at the beginning when you're logging in or like creating the first time account, you uh, skipping the, uh, the, the beginner video there, the intro, and you're coming to the screen where you need to choose the first time you're starting faction, choose the starting faction for like Aether, when it like, for example, be mages when you're going with League of Order, because League of Order giving you Celestials and you're getting Wardy, which is a mage here. If you plan to go, uh, if you plan to do like Archers, then go with Spring One, because when you're getting from the main quest, Gronwyn, you know? So please look carefully based on you, what you're planning to do with your account. Do you want to do a mage? Do you want to be an archer? And then look on YouTube or like ask others, like what are they doing? Um, but really important, the first time you choose a starting faction is basically because of a hero, which you're getting. You're getting later on from the main quest or like from upgrading your town hall, a changing item for the faction. So you can change one time for free your faction and after that it's gonna cost you 10k gems each time so it's really important that you choose correctly the starting faction at the beginning with a correct starting hero so you basically are having an advantage you know 
Um, also important is you cannot change the starting hero. So once you change, uh, once you pick that starting hero with that starting select uh, faction, it's gonna be locked in your main quest. And all these heads you're gonna get from the main quest for this epic hero will be for that epic hero. So even if you change from League of Order to Spring Warden later, you're not getting then from the Spring Warden starting hero with tokens from the main quest. That's really important to know, guys. And I see. Uh, or uh, heard a lot that people not caring about this. The next point is that you need to save your speed ups and that you're not randomly pushing without an event. You're losing value with that. You're not getting like event rewards when you would push. Um, and it's like, why? Why are you pushing randomly when there's like no event, no war or whatever? Like just randomly pushing brings you nothing. So. Look on the events. Is there something coming up where you can push? Do you get good amount of uh, decent rewards? And also you need to look, of course, okay, do do I have whales? Is it worth to push? Let me talk with others. Are they pushing also? Like, you know, especially if you to play low spender, if you're planning to push, look that you save up a lot and uh, push when at the event where you get, I don't know, tokens, for example, or like, Whatever, like some rewards back, so you don't lose the whole value. You know, to get value back from pushing and getting some rewards back. The fifth point is not being active overall, which is like killing an account. And by that, I mean also not letting your buildings running, researches and troop training constantly. Like if there's gonna be time where you like letting this running and you like losing time from it, you know. Especially in Call of Dragons, you have two bidding slots and two research slots. So you have a lot of value. While in Wise of Kings, you have only two bidding slots and one research slot. So you're getting like 100% time value because you have two research slots in Call of Dragons. And for that, we're coming also to the next point already. Use your gems smart. Um, and by that, I mean basically don't just randomly put them something or like use them to get resources or like buying like or change the talent bid for like 1k gems. Like you need to use your gems, gem smart, especially if you to play and low spender. You need to buy, if you're free to play, you need to have 5k gems for the second building slot. And you need to have over, I think 35k it was to hit VIP 8 as fast as possible because with VIP 8, you're getting to unlock the second resource slot, which you want to have is, it doesn't matter who, everyone wants to have both of these slots as fast as possible. Then use please your farming heroes correctly. Because currently we have basically four farming heroes and uh, one hero which is for building, but you have also gathering skills, so you can count him also as a farming hero. Um, the problem right now is that the game is like telling you two he farming heroes together in one match, and that you do two times, you know, two times two uh, farming heroes, and then one time one farming hero, and you have only then of three fa uh, farming matches, and then you're sending out two marches with like fighting heroes when when you like literally just can say you're gonna put uh, each march gonna have like one farming hero you're gonna get the value of your talent build and you're overall gonna gain her faster so please do that that is also a big mistake a noob mistake which a lot of people do it they just sending them out and then two marches gonna have not the benefits of the farming talent tree where i'm like guys why are you doing that then the next point is don't let your CP bar going full. Please don't let them don't let the CP bar go full. Problem with that is once you lose every time one CP, it is gone forever. The next point is work on your pets. Use your daily reverence and try to get every day better pets. Um because it's really important to catch every day the pets so you get like lucky and maybe getting some uh, good pets with, with like talent skills, or you're also getting pets where you can like getting them skills from which you can then sell to get the coins to buy them better skills to then make your current pets better and but last but not least please pick runes as you see in the background the runes giving you really good buffs like 20 percent gathering production 15 percent building of course this uh, this what you see where right now are the best runes which you can get the legendary ones but even like a green one or gray one or blue one can give you already good amount of stats, you know, which can help you getting more resources, like 
better bathing time, better research time, better troop training time, whatever. CP recovery you can also get. So please use a rune, guys. So that was it with my list for 10 loop mistakes you definitely should avoid in terms of that you make your account better. So I hope you have uh, enjoyed that video. I hope it's gonna help you in making your account better, even when some of the points probably for most of you don't count anymore since you're probably already playing the game. But the other uh, stuff should be pretty clear, but somehow I still see these mistakes happening, especially for example, with using correctly the farming heroes. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you have think about the video. Let me like any feedback, I'm very open and I'm very happy about. And with that said, uh, guys, stay healthy everyone. I wish you a great rest of the day or a great start into the next day. And we're gonna see us then soon on the next one. See ya guys.